So now we're going to look at how we can set up a template engine for our app. And template engine is basically a tool that um, can take in variables as well. As, and you can write some simple syntax in there. And what it will do is it'll put those variables in and it will create a HTML file for us, which we can then return to the user. So the file is generated um, on our server and then give return to the user. So the, the tool we're going to use for this is an NPM package called Pug. And this, this is it right here. So what I have here is I have this very, very basic Express app here. As you can see, the only dependency is Express. And in server.js, I have um, the Express app created and it listens on port 3000. And on the slash root, which is the home root, I've just set it to um, send back hello world. So if I do node and then server.js, and I go into um, localhost 3000 and I refresh the page, we can see that we have the text hello world right here. And what we're going to be doing is using pug to return a HTML page here. So the first thing we have to do is to install pug and the package name is just pug. So go back to your project and open the terminal in your root folder. And you just want to do npm install pug like this and press enter. And it will go ahead and fetch the latest version of pug for us. So we just have to wait for that to happen now. Okay, so if we look at package.json now, we can see the pug has been installed right here. So the next thing we need to do is to um, require pug. Um, this isn't strictly needed, but I'm just going to do it just in case we need pug methods later on. So I'm just going to require pug here. Now, um, when we want to tell Express that we have to use a template engine like Pug, we have to set some properties for it. So the first property we have to set is the view engine property. And by the way, Express properties can be set by using this um, method called set on app and you give it the a string with the name of the property and then the value of the property. And what we want to do is we want to set the uh, view engine property. And this is the engine that's used to generate our views so or our templates. So the first thing we want to do is say app.set and we want to set the view space engine property. And the value, um, what you have to do is put pug in. And you don't actually put this, this pug right here, you actually put the name of the package which is pug like this. Um, the other thing that we have to do is we have to set the views um, setting. And the views setting is basically where we'll store all our templates and this is where it looks for our templates. So what we want to do here is I'm going to create a folder called pages here and this is where I'll put all my views to render. So hang on, not that one. I need to create a new folder and I'm going to call this pages. So this is where we'll put all our views. So we need to set that as well. So we'll say app.set and we want to set the views. So this is where Express will go looking for our views. And we want to set that to um, this dot, dot slash pages right here. Um, you can give it an absolute path as well if you want it to be safe by using dir name. Okay, so the next thing to do is we have to generate a pug page inside this. So I'm just going to open uh, this and put a new file in it and I'm just going to call something like homepage.pug and it's the .pug extension when we're using um, pug. So press enter there. And pug has this very simple syntax for um, writing code. So uh, an easy way to learn this is there's an example on the npm page but also if you go down here um, to additional resources and you can click this like pug syntax tutorial and that will take you to this place where you can um, render pug in real time and learn how it works. So I'm just gonna set up a basic HTML page here. So it's a very simple syntax. You just say something like HTML like this and um, all the, um, I don't know what it's called where you put code inside code, but that's done, achieved through indentation. So I'm just gonna copy this to show you how it works. So as you can see, it's a very, very um, simple syntax right here. So we can set the head, I'm just gonna remove this script here. So we have this title here and we can just say title equals and then put the content of the tag inside it. So I'm just going to say um, homepage here. And inside this, you can put various tags in here. So I'm just gonna put a h1 tag and I'm just gonna say um, h1 equals and then hello world as a string. 
And what I'll also do is I'll put a paragraph in here. So for that, I can just put P equals, and I can say something like, um, welcome to our app. Just something simple like that. So that's our pug page right here. And then what we need to do is instead of response.send here, we want to call a method on response called render. And inside it, we give it the name of our um, pug template, which is called home page in this case. And we don't have to give the extension here. So we can just put home page. And what this will do is when um, we have, we go into the slash root or our home page, what um, Express will do for us is it will give this homepage.pug file to our view engine pug and then pug will generate it into a HTML page which will then get returned to the user and rendered by Express. So let's see what happens. So we will do node server.js and oops, I'm just going to repeat that. And if we go into a uh, localhost 3000 and I refresh the page, we can see that our pug um, template has been converted here. And we have this H1 here with hello world and we have P with welcome to our app. And pug basically allows us to do like very simple syntax and it will get converted into a proper HTML page that we can return to our users. And the better, th the most important thing about pug is you can, um, give variables when you call this render, which we'll look at in the next challenge, and you can render those variables. So it can be something like someone's name or the current time or something like that. So what they want us to do in the challenge is we have in, in, in the uh, views folder and in pug, we have this file called index.pug, and they want us to render that on this slash root right here. So that's essentially what this challenge um, needs us to do. So the first thing we want to do is install pug because if we look at package.json, we can see that pug is missing here. So just click tools and then terminal and um, you want to just wait for that to start up. It can take a little bit of time. And what you want to first just do is do npm. I'm just going to move this up so we can see everything. So we, we want to do npm install pug. And this will basically go ahead and install pug into our package.json and have it available in our project. So it can take some, take some time, so we need, just need to be a little bit patient. Um, and then what we then need to do is basically set up the view engine and the views folder and then call the render method on the response to render this um, index.pug. I think that's what we need to do anyway. Um, Yeah, index file, okay. So um, pug has been installed now, so um, we might have to hit refresh here, yeah. So we just put a refresh into the terminal and this will update um, the changes from that we made in the terminal to our project. And um, if we look at package.json now, we can see that pug has been installed. So um, we're working in server.js and it's for the slash root right here. So the, the, we need to do set up our settings first. So first thing we want to do is set up our um, view engine. So we can say app.set and then we want to set the view engine and we want to set that to pug. Um, again, you don't need to actually require pug like I did here. I just did it just in case we need it later. But this is just the package name you give to the view engine. Um, so the next thing we need to do is set the views folder and all our templates are stored in views and then pug right here. So that's what we need to set that to. So we can say app.set and then views. We want this to be in um, slash views slash pug, I think. Um, slash views slash pug. I'm just going to double check that we don't need to do anything else. View slash pug. Okay, cool. So now what we want to do is instead of sending this back we want to render the our index page so on the response which is called rest here we want to say rest.render and we want to render the index page which is called just index right here and remember we don't need to give the file extension so if i save that now and um i'm really i really hope this works and we refresh this we can see that we have our um, pug page being rendered and it, that's basically this index or pug. So um, you can just go ahead and copy this and submit this right here and it should hopefully work. Yeah, there we go. So again, what this did was um, we've installed pug and this basically says that um, 
we want to look in this views folder, which is in um, view slash pug. So it'll express will look in the view slash pugs folder. Um, it'll look for this file called index right here. Then it will give that file to pug. So this is in pug as syntax. It will give that to pug. And then pug will generate a HTML file for us, which will then be uh, rendered as the response. And that's exactly what's happened here. So yeah, that's what you need to do for that challenge. So you can go ahead and do that and submit it. And we should be good to go.